I've come to make an announcement! You laminated a paper towel. That's right. You laminated a paper towel. You made it useless, but also prevented it from the end it was predestined for. But... Wait a sec. Yo, this is freaking me out, though. Like, it raises so many questions about the otherwise incomprehensible meaning of life as a collective whole versus sustenance and longevity. Imagine if one day, you were given a choice. Become immortal and indestructible for eternity, unable to be harmed by anything ever again, and get to live forever. However, in order to achieve that, you must give up whatever your purpose in life is, whatever it is you were always meant to do. What were you supposed to contribute to the overall scheme and future of the life and the universe? Your purpose. The whole reason you were ever even created, even born in the first place. You must give that up. You don't know what that is, you'll never know. But regardless, you say yes. Perhaps you'll assume that you wouldn't have any sort of significant difference anyway, that butterfly effect theory or whatever you call it? Nah, you call bullshit, it doesn't matter, you don't matter, at least not to anything outside of your immediate connections, and it'll be fine, and you'll just live forever with minimal or even no consequences. So yay, you're now immortal, you'll never die or get hurt ever again. Wee, but then... But then... But then, centuries and centuries later, not to mention by at this point you've gone through horrible heartbreak and misery and despair because every loved one you ever had, every friend you ever made, every person you barely got to know has passed away, died as you lived on long without them, helpless to do anything for them as you watched them perish, unable to ever go with them or see them again, but I digress. Now you learn you actually were important in the grand scheme of things. You were supposed to be the key factor in the world's survival long ago, but because of the choice you made, immortality over individual purpose, you were never given the knowledge or awareness or resources or ability to save the world that you were supposed to obtain before you unknowingly made the wrongest choice to ever wrong. Needless to say, you fucked up big time. The entire universe as we know it is destroyed soon after this horrifying revelation. It implodes, collapses in on itself, essentially forming a massive black hole or something. Stars, nebula, galaxies, solar systems and planets, worlds and worlds of living people and things and light years of time and space and life, all sucked up into absolute indefinite nothingness. But you remain. Just you. Floating amongst, spiraling around, rocketing through, suspended in nothing with a feeling of such an unbelievable loneliness that your feeble brain can hardly perceive. Can't possibly hope to comprehend. Not only are you the living thing left, you don't even have one inanimate object to keep you company. You have literally nothing. And you are literally nowhere. I mean, technically you are now the universe if that would bring you some petty comfort to think about it that way. You. Only you, with nothing, no one, nowhere, forever and ever and ever. All because you thought you didn't matter. That you had no real meaningful purpose. That you could never possibly make a difference. But you did. And now look what you've gotten yourself into, you silly nugget. You're gonna be pretty bored and lonely for that eternity, huh? Or maybe. Maybe it was out of selfishness. Maybe this wasn't because you felt useless, but because you simply only cared about prolonging your own life and nothing else. Hmm. The moral here? Be selfless and always know that you matter, or else one day you might destroy the entire universe and be left to suffer and be tortured horribly and endlessly by the void of nothingness that has consumed you with no way to escape ever. The other moral because I got sidetracked from my initial point, all things considered, would you choose longevity over purpose, immortality over meaning, or I don't know, maybe some idiot just laminated a stupid piece of paper towel for no good reason. And maybe I shouldn't be looking for the answers to the meaning of our short, fragile lives in a laminated paper towel. I don't know, man. I don't know.